In this quick tip video, I explain the magic behind how iRacing match makes drivers into a competitive split, and all from an older gamer's perspective. What is matchmaking? When you join a race lobby on iRacing, especially if it's one of the more popular ones in Rookie or D-Class, you will see the races are split into groups. These are called splits. This is because each race has a maximum number of cars allowed on a track. And if the number of drivers waiting to race exceeds the number of cars allowed on the track, then races are divided into equal groups or splits. These splits are arranged via what's called matchmaking. But how does this happen? How are the matches made? And what determines which split you will be placed in? And just what is strength of field anyway? Safety rating has nothing to do with it. First, it's important to understand that safety rating plays no part in influencing which split you will race in, unless you are a rookie, but I'll come to that in a moment. Safety rating is scored in terms of the number of instant points a driver accumulates per corner. Each incident, a crash, losing control or going off track, carries a certain number of negative points. The goal for you is to minimize the number of incidents you accumulate, which can be tough in rookies. But as I said, safety rating has nothing to do with working out which split you will end up in. It simply determines how much of iRacing you are able to access. Well, that and how much money you have. But it doesn't affect the splits you actually race in. That is, unless you are a rookie. In which case, it is likely you will be placed in a split based on your safety rating and how it matches up to other drivers waiting in the racing lobby to join a split. I rating is how good you are. So if the safety rating has no bearing at all on which split you race in, unless you're a rookie, what does? The answer is your I rating score. In I racing, every driver who progresses beyond rookie has an I rating, which is essentially a number that broadly speaking, represents their skill level, or at least how lucky they have been. It's calculated on your performance in official races only. If you win or perform well against races with high I rating, your I rating will increase. On the other hand, if you perform poorly, especially against races with a low I rating, your I rating will decrease. In a nutshell, if you race against people with a lower I rating than you and win, don't expect to get too much in the way of an I rating boost. However, if you race against people with a lower I rating than you and you lose, expect to see your I rating plummet. So, if the determining factor for matchmaking isn't safety rating, or even the class of license you have, but your I rating score, how is this applied? And how does matchmaking use I rating to determine which split you end up in? When the race lobby forms, iRacing looks at all the drivers, examines their iRating score, then places those drivers with a similar iRating into a split together, as much as it possibly can, given the number of drivers. This is matchmaking. Of course, if you are in a race with very few splits, or none at all, you could find yourself racing against really fast experienced drivers and at the same time some utter numpties. That's not really a failure of the matchmaking system, it's just the way online gaming is and a part of life. Strength of field. Have you ever wondered what strength of field actually is? A broad definition and a simplified version of this is a system that is calculated by adding up all the I ratings of the drivers in a split and dividing that by the total number of drivers. In this example, R1 represents driver 1's I rating, R2 is driver 2's I rating, and so on. N represents the number of drivers. If there are three drivers with I ratings of 1500, 2000 and 2500 respectively, we can add them up to get a total of 6000. This is then divided by the number of drivers, in this case three. 
That gives a strength of field of 2,000. A higher strength of field generally means a race will be more competitive and suggests the drivers have, on average, higher skill levels. It also has a direct effect on how the increase or decrease in your I rating is calculated. Calculating your I rating gain or lack of. As I just mentioned, a higher strength of field generally means the race will be more competitive, as it suggests the drivers in the race have a higher skill levels on average. The exact formula on how I rating is calculated at the end of a race based on strength of field and your finishing position isn't publicly disclosed by iRacing. But the principle is that you are handsomely rewarded for beating higher rated drivers and tragically penalised for losing to lower rated drivers. So, next time you are in a split and wondering why you are there, take a look at the I ratings of your fellow drivers and all now should be clear. Just remember, it has nothing to do with safety rating. That just lets you spend more money on more cars and more tracks. Welcome to iRacing. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and if you haven't already done so, subscribe. Click the little bell icon if you want to be notified of any future videos.